Good evening, everyone. My name is Cadet Second Lieutenant Max Anderic, and I'm part of this year's 2011 Michigan Wing SAR Academy. Tonight, I got a couple videos for you. This one's ba mainly based on packing. These are some uh, good tips for you, so when you get up to the academy, everything's all squared away. Number one, labeling your gear. When you get up to the academy, we want to make sure all of your stuff is labeled so you don't lose it, and if you do lose it, we're able to find it for you. For example, I have my Camelback labeled, my orange vest labeled, some of my waterproof gear labeled, I don't even have my pack labeled. Big thing right there, you don't want to lose that. Number two, waterproofing your gear. When I first got this pack, you know, it's probably not waterproof or anything like that, so I went up to the store, bought some waterproofing, sprayed it all on there, so when I'm in the field, you know, water's not penetrating my gear and getting everything wet. Number two, you can also get waterproof uh, containers or Ziploc bags to throw all your stuff in, like I have, you know, all my necessary batteries, matches, light sticks, all that in here. So in case this, you know, my pack does get wet, my gear does not get wet. Tip number three, knives. We don't want to be having Rambo, you know, style knives around here, nothing up on your chest or hanging down. You want to make sure everything's squared away in a container so you don't cut yourself or anything like that. Like this, I have my Leatherman right here. Usually keep that right on my side. It's in the, uh, the container it came in and it's not, doesn't open. So I'm not gonna get cut nor am I gonna endanger any of the teammates. Now, when you're in the field, it's important to have the most important items close to you. So if I have my pack on, for example, like this, I have my compass, my whistle, my flashlight, my watch, and then, of course, your safety vest is already going to be on your back so people can see you whether it's night or day. Now, with your 24-hour gear, you want some heavier items on your hips to let, strain your back. So if you're carrying a web gear or something along the, sor the sorts of that, your canteens, butt pack, and all that, keep that on your hips. You know, just to make sure you don't strain your back or anything like that. Strap it on there and you'll be good to go. Now when it comes to 72 hour gear, we want to keep the heavier items on top of your pack just so you're not straining your hips because you're going on a long walk. Vice versa, they both go hand in hand. Now, when you're done with all your gear and everything's all packed away, you should be able to jump up and down several times without anything coming loose or coming off your pack. If something does, then it's not tight enough and it's not secure enough. So we'll make sure we have to readjust that before you get into the field. Finally, if you do are in the field and you know you don't feel something right, you know your butt pack's not tight enough or anything like that, take a minute, alert your ground team member, and then readjust it so you're good to go the extra mile. Now, when you get up to sign in, you know, it, you're gonna pretty much get up there and you're gonna be like, whoa, what's going on here? Big thing is to do, what's gonna happen is you're gonna lay your gear out just like this. You're gonna take your tarp, lay all of your gear out when it comes down to food, clothing, and all of your gear. It's all gonna be laid out on here. So when a SAR Academy staff member runs around, he can check you off, make sure you have everything. And if you don't have everything, you can go up to the store, grab it real quick, and then you'll be good to go for the account. Now, that's it for packing. If you guys have any other questions, visit our website at saracademy.net, and we'll see you there.